Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of 9 in 9 with Sunderland. Today we travel to Bradford City in a huge game for us at the top of the League 1 table. We will round up the rest of the transfer action from a busy summer transfer window and take a look at the results we've had since we were last together. Don't forget if you enjoyed this content to please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive in to the end of the transfer window. Of which it was very much trying to get players out the door on the final day of the window. So Jacob Murphy has joined Blackpool. Brad Young has gone out on loan as we expected. Joe Pickett has joined Borkham. Tom Lockyer has joined Kilmarnock. And Oivan Neuerland has joined Leighton Orient. We have bought a couple of players in on loan. Jensen Latham from Southampton and Vilmal Silosus. I'm going to put that right. Probably haven't from Aston Villa. So following the win over Huddersfield last time around, we easily dispensed with Doncaster in the EFL Trophy. Helix, Southam and Brennan Johnson with the goals. We carried on our good form in the league as well. Felix Nemetra with the only goal at Tramier as we beat him by a goal to nil. We did, for the first time in the league this season, score more than once. Southam, two goals for Callum Wilson and Ryan Hardy with a big win for us over Shrewsbury. But we conceded our first League One goal of the season to NL Bennett as Rotherham took a point from the stadium and like Callum Wilson rescuing us in the last couple of minutes. We saw off yet another championship side in Queen's Park Rangers in the Carabao Cup, having a really good run in that. Felix Nemecha and Max Thompson with the goals. But last time around, Joe Piggott come back to bite us in the arse as we drew one all with Morecambe. Brennan Johnson scoring a late equaliser again. But the unbeaten record is still intact. So our reward for beating Queen's Park Rangers is to take on another championship side in one of our former clubs, Coventry City, with a real chance to make it through to the last eight of the Carabao Cup. Papa John's Trophy were doing all right. We won the first game against Doncaster. The FA Cup is fast approaching on the horizon as well. We are in the first round of that, of course. In League One, we are currently second behind Portsmouth by virtue of we've drawn more games than they have. 18 points played 20 at the moment. Birmingham are just behind us on 17. Three sides on 16, Peterborough, MK Dons and Wigan. Mansfield on 14. Huddersfield, Rotherham and Cambridge all on 12. Grimsby having a good season on 11, Rochdale also on 11, there's Bradford on 10 with Lincoln and with Morecambe, let's have a look at the bottom of the table, where there are three teams without a win so far, Burton Albion, Crew, and Plymouth, Burton Albion, Crew have three points apiece, five for Shrewsbury, Forest Green, and for Plymouth, six for Lake Norian, seven for Tranmere, eight for Bolton, nine for Reading, and there is Bradford City, as I mentioned, on 10 points. But they have the chance to move into the top half with a win at Valley Parade or the Utilita Stadium, I think, as it's known now. Let's take a look at the two teams. So here are the two starting lineups. Truman starts in goal for Bradford. Thekeld, O'Connor, Staunton, Guinness Walker, Young, Wareham, Watt, Walker, Apaya, Penfold leading the line. Don't think it's that one. Not from Danger Mouth. Anyway, then the Sunderland line. I did make this up laughing time. Walton starts in goal for us. Helic, Southam, Medley, Laird, Brigani, Grimes, Neil, Johnson, Nemetcha, with Callum Wilson leading the line. So the unbeaten start is still going. Can we keep it rolling at Bradford City? The former Premier League side that are looking to get their way back themselves. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed we can pick up three points from this one and keep rolling on. Portsmouth take on Peterborough this afternoon. A big game between those two at the top of the table. Maybe the first drop points from the leaders. We look to take advantage of that, potentially. Still very early days, though. Still a long way to go in the season. Goal kick. Walton's going to take it. He rolls it to Medley. Brings it out of defence. Portsmouth in the lead. Early doors. Johnson. Play it through. No, Penfold has picked it up. Walker. Watt. Looking over the top for a pie, but Medley heads it forward. Grimes picks it up. Plays it into Wilson. 
Blaze it looking for Nemecha, but they're not linking up well together so far. The front three. We're back to O'Connor looking over the top for a Paya, and he has got the turn on Medley. He's had to go back. What? Trying to get through to a Paya again. He has, but he put it wide of the post. Didn't have enough bend on it, that one. Callum Wilson has picked up an injury. Thigh injury. Okay, that's going to be three or four weeks, isn't it? So, Ryan Hardy is going to come on up front. It's a shame. Callum Wilson has found his scoring boots so far. Hopefully, Ryan Hardy can do something when he comes on. But we are racing through the first half. But we have a free kick for Bradford. What with it? In the rain. Morton with a save. Easily. Comfortable. Stop it, that. Free kick. Regani's going to take it. Are oh, we going to get a HUD on it? We are. No. Bentley has a shot this time. Probably should have gone with his head. Defenders have been chipping in with some goals so far this season. I know what you're thinking. It could only be 1-0, couldn't it? It might well be again. Laird to Johnson. Okay, coming down that right-hand side. Plays it into Grimes. Goes back into Helic. Cross into Southam. Helic once more. Goes back to his goalkeeper. Lots of pace on it. Don't do it right in the centre of the goal. Remember the Paul Robinson moment when Gary Neville passed it back to him? I do. Laird with the ball down the right-hand side. Finds Hardy low. Shoots. Fires it into the net. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Third goal of the season for Ryan Hardy. And we lead by a goal to nil. Just turned up the wick a little bit. Got it moving a bit quicker. And Ryan Hardy thrashes it into the back of the net. Laird over the top. And Fennessy he just gets away from his man. Runs just a little bit quicker. Fires it beyond Truman. Goodness me. That will still be travelling. That may well have broken the net as well. I don't know. I'm just speculating. We are going top of the table as it stands. Still a long way to go. Throw in. Laird with it. Throws it in towards Johnson. Laird once more. Sending it into the penalty. And Medley rises. Heads over the bar. What the hell is he doing there in open play? Corner. Regani's going to take it. Yes, he is. Can we find a second goal? Ball towards the back post. Hardy tries to rise. Beaten in the air by Guinness Walker. Nemecha will pick it up. Trotting to the ball. He's going to whip it back in early. Might well do. He might well go for a shot himself. He puts it wide though. That is half time. Ryan Hardy's thunderbolt. Gives us the lead at the break. Losing Callum Wilson is a big loss. We will see what's happened to him at the end of the game. I know things are going well. We're capable of more. Let's go and get some more. I'd like to show you more than one goal on the live comp. That'd be nice. We're picking up four against Shrewsbury. Couldn't believe it. O'Connor. Looks long. Looking for a pyre. Southam beats him in the air. Patrick Southam is such a good player. The regen. Sadly for the rest of you. I'm glad to have him. Truman with the goal kick. Sending it down the field. Are we going to win it? Win the air. We are with Helix. Johnson looking for Hardy early. Chests it inside. Will he get a shot away? He won't. And it's a penalty, is it? No. Beckford has got away with it. Good tackle. I didn't think he had the ball, personally. I think he just took the man out. Metcher did go over rather easily. I will grant you that. It's going to be a corner to Bradford. What with it? Can we head it away? Surely we must do. No, Staunton heads it in the post, but Walton with the catch. So delighted to keep hold of him. There were a few bids came in. West Ham came in. He didn't want to go. can understand why. Johnson with the ball. Coming down the right-hand side. Goes back into Laird. Still running. Plays it into Johnson once more. Looking for Hardy. And it's not beyond the goalkeeper this time. Truman with the save. Could have gone the opposite corner. All the space was there. Regani with the corner. Can we find this second goal? Heading it in towards the centre. It's off the bar. It's away. And Hardy will pick it up. Try again. Regani sends it towards the back post to Nemecha. Heads it down for Southam. Shoots from distance. Oh my goodness me. The centre halves have got a shot on them as well. Right, we are going to have a look at a substitution. Felix Nemecha is going to be the man to come off. On 6.5. He's having the worst rating out of everybody. Oh, do you know what? We're going to bring Louis Sibley on, on that left hand side. Mr. Versatility, I've decided to call Louis Sibley. He can play absolutely anywhere. Guinness Walker with a throw. Throws it into Walker. Plays it into Penfold. Guinness Walker swinging it towards the back post, looking for Young. Young heads towards goal, and it's over the bar. Walton didn't have to help it on his way. Didn't do. Looks like it might well be 1-0 to the Sunderland again. Watt trying to look for a pyre, though. Headed forward. Picked up by Neil. 
looking for Sibley. Plays it into Hardy. Back in towards Southam. Into Helic. Grimes. Southam into Medley. Looking for Sibley once more. Brigani coming down the left hand side into Sibley once more. Go on. Plays it back. Nice touch towards Brendan Johnson. And it's wide of the post by Johnson. Very elaborate. For very little. Guinness Walker with the throw. In towards Miller. Watt. Goes back into O'Connor. In towards Feckold. I still think he should have given away a penalty, Feckold. I really do. Watt. Trying to play it into Glatzel. Back into Stoughton. We're back into shape very, very well. Making ourselves hard to beat. It's always what you need to do. Looking for a promotion season. Laird goes back inside to Helix. Walton will take his time with that. Didn't think he was going to touch it there for a second. Regani. <laughs> just looked at it and just went... <laughs> Regani playing it into Medley. Into Grimes. Onto Southam. Into Healy. We might have a look at another change in a second, although we've already made two. Johnson. We will look at another one, probably. Hardy with the ball. Puts it behind for a corner. At the right end of the field for us. We're going to have a look at another change. We're going to make a change in the engine room. And it's going to be Elliot Ebbleton to come on. And it's going to be Matt Grimes to come on. But we are moving towards added time. Brian Hardy's Thunderbolt looks like it's won the game for us. 1-0 to the Sunderland. 1-0 to the Sunderland. You will eventually see more than one goal in a game, I promise. Johnson with the ball down the right-hand side. Plays it in towards the centre. Looking for Sibley. And he's headed it over the bar. There was his chance. And that is it. Bradford nil. Sunderland won. Peterborough have beaten Portsmouth. So you know what that means. We go top of League One. And there it is confirmed. Portsmouth have lost for the first time this season. So we take over at the summit. 21 points from nine games played any movement Huddersfield have moved into playoff contention I thought it wouldn't be long until they got themselves together Birmingham have moved level on points after beating Bolton as well as the league table starts to take shape let's take a look at what happened with Callum Wilson and hopefully it's not too bad hamstring injury three to four weeks for Callum Wilson fair enough so he'll be back in probably the middle of November right yep maths working out dates Callum Wilson out for a little while it does mean however he is going to miss a very busy period for us so we take on Liverpool we take on Plymouth we take on Rochdale Wigan we've got four home games in a row there that should be lots and lots of points on the board hopefully we will take on Reading then we will travel to Fratton Park obviously they've lost today Portsmouth against Peterborough but I still imagine they will be up there at this point as it could be a battle between the top two by the time we get there. But the League One season has started to take shape. We have another 1-0 win on the board. I really don't believe it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1-0 wins so far this season. At least we're not conceding a lot of goals. Just the two so far this season. But we do need to start putting more in at the other end. Bit more like Shrewsbury, please, if we can do that going forward. So we'll drop back in next time and see what happens against Portsmouth. To Fratton Park is a very difficult place to go, so we'll see what happens then. Don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, to please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.